This video is sponsored by Keeper. Apple back at WWDC 2022 announced that the next generation of Apple CarPlay would be coming in 2023, or at least we would see the first generation of cars that would adopt this. And well, 2023 is almost over, but Apple has pretty much kind of hit its goal as Porsche and Aston Martin officially announced its upcoming vehicles that will integrate this new CarPlay system. And obviously those cars will hopefully be out in 2024. Aston Martin confirmed that it will release its first vehicles with the next-gen CarPlay in 2024, including an updated DB12 sports car, but it's unclear exactly when in the year this will happen. Porsche did not provide a time frame or reveal any specific details, aside from a few images, which I'm gonna show you a lot here because they look beautiful. Uh, but this new version of CarPlay promises deeper integration with the instrument cluster and climate controls, support for multiple displays across the dashboard, a dedicated FM radio app, which Widgets and so much more. So what's cool about the next gen CarPlay, obviously aside from like more CarPlay throughout all of the displays and things that have to do with your car, is that it's tailored to each specific vehicle's model and automaker's brand identity. And so you can see how this version of CarPlay will look inside of the Aston Martin, which I really do like, but the Porsche integration is kind of my favorite, mostly not because of what Aston Martin did with its like identity and how it integrated and everything, but more so just the look of it. I love the extra screen here off to the right. Um, I just love multiple displays and things that you can see. Uh, Porsche showed off a custom elongated CarPlay interface on the central screen, along with widgets for apps like calendar, music, and weather on that secondary display. With next generation CarPlay, a connected iPhone will provide app related data, while the vehicle will provide driving specific data and info like your tire pressure and then all of the stuff on the instrument cluster. Apple said the connected iPhone will not store or track vehicle information, which is good for privacy reasons. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, I can't afford a Porsche or an Aston Martin, don't worry, I'm in the same boat with you. Uh, but there are other automakers that Apple um, has said is included on the list for uh, the next generation CarPlay integration. So we have Acura, Audi, Ford, Honda, Infiniti, Jaguar, Land Rover, Lincoln, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Polestar, Porsche, Renault, and Volvo. So to sum it up, there will be five main new features of CarPlay inside of these vehicles. And that includes your instrument cluster display. So that'll be uh, another set there with the tachometer, the speedometer, all of that car info will be on that instrument cluster display. You'll probably get some music controls, navigation, all of the relevant car information will be there. Now, speaking of displays, there's obviously new support for multiple displays, whether it be the instrument cluster that has a display there uh, or your main infotainment screen, or if you have a car like the Porsche here that has a third display display, it'll just be the operating system for your entire car. Um, as of right now, CarPlay is pretty much limited to the infotainment. It's kind of a accessory to the car's actual built-in infotainment and operating system, but this seems like it's just going to be your main operating system for everything. Uh, also, we will have new features like controlling climate via CarPlay, having widgets displayed on your displays, and of course, that new FM radio app that I mentioned earlier, so you don't lose out on having access to the radio. Obviously, I'm really looking forward to this being integrated into a ton of new vehicles for 2024. My lease is coming up, so the more uh, that this is across all vehicles, the better. I have more options to choose from. I don't think I'm gonna get one in 2024 quite yet. I just feel like it's not gonna be ready with a lot of these uh, more affordable you know, car manufacturers. But hey, you never know. Hopefully it will be. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this? Uh, yeah, let me know. And before we end today's video, I do wanna let you know about today's sponsor. I'm gonna send it off to Dan wearing a completely different shirt to tell you more about Keeper. We're online for everything these days. I think everyone is for the most part. And I shouldn't have to tell you just how important it is to protect your accounts from cyber attacks. Just the other day, my wife experienced the same malicious activity that I've gone through in the past with one of her accounts. And so I had her change her password right away. And for her, who's not you know tech savvy like I am, it's pretty painless that she was able to do it with the help of Keeper. Keeper is the most secure, certified, tested and audited password security platform in the world. I can rest easy knowing that my accounts are protected with full zero trust and zero knowledge security. So if you don't have a password manager yet, what are you waiting for? Don't wait until after a cyber attack leaks your personal information and data to secure your accounts. Take action today and keep your information off of that dark web. And if you wanna get started and save some money, get 50% off with code MACRUMORS50 or give it a test run with a free 30-day trial. 
Again, you'll find the link in the description down below. And thank you so much to Keeper for sponsoring this video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.